And away we go. Hey there guys, Dr. Dual Sport here. I am in southern Utah, just north of the uh, Zion Canyons area. And uh, I am at the Flying Monkey Adventure Rally. This is day one. Most of the guys are just kind of getting in today. But uh, I met up, I came in late last night. I met up with, uh, let's see, one, I think one guy's from Oregon. Uh, another guy's from the uh, Seattle area, and then two two fellows from uh, two riders from uh, Canada. So we got uh, we got the two big uh, 1200 GSs. We got a 650 uh, GS uh, Dakar, and we've got the KTM 1190R, and then I am on the old KR KLR. Night. It's the uh, 2002 uh, KLR 650, and I'll tell you what, uh, she's been a pretty sweet bike today. Uh, I got the, after I got the suspension done, then uh, this is really the first, you know, major ride I've been on, and it's wor been working really well. And I, I didn't spend a lot of money on it. I, I, uh, I put the heavier spring on the rear shock, and then I put the uh, heavier springs in the forks. I I forget what they were. If they were, seems like they were like 55 kilogram or something like that, or whatever they are. And, uh, then the uh, they were race tech springs, and then the, I also installed the gold valve emulators. And, uh, with the uh, seat concept seat, man, this thing's has just been nice. I can, you know, run over some pretty good rocks and dips and whatever and actually be sitting on the seat and not bounce up or anything, so great. Yeah, we just, uh, we actually left the, uh, the Zion Ponderosa campground is, is where the, uh, where we're staying for the event, and, and we um, we left there and headed north on the North Fork County Road. And, uh, it's taken us up over the mountain all the way north, and we're going to be coming out here uh, at Navajo Lake. Where we'll be going around the uh, south side of the Navajo Lake, heading east. And uh, then we'll come out, out at uh, Duck Creek. And uh, I think a couple of the guys, they were going to uh, gas up, fuel up there at Duck Creek. And, uh, so, nice, pretty country here. And it's nice, cool, breeze blowing, comfortable day. Beautiful uh, quaking asp. So anyway, we're having a great time, so hang with us here and we'll show you some sights. Yeah, it looks like doing a little paving job here. Trying to get it done for winter. Here we are at the Navajo Lake. It's, uh, it's like they're putting down hot mix there. Yeah, you know, Navajo Lake is clear on top of the Cedar Mountain. It's a uh, beautiful, beautiful lake. One thing that's unique about the Cedar Mountain is that a lot of the area up here is private ground. We just back a mile or two, we come on. We just came on to the uh, forest, forest service property. But everything down below there was all private. You know, they they allow you to uh, go through there on the on the road, so you have a right away. But but you can't uh, you know camp or hunt or fish or anything unless you have uh, permission there so 
actually I think the all of the, the private ground there is probably in better shape than, than uh, a lot of the forest ground. It's been better managed because it's being managed by uh, an individual, you know, more of a hands-on. So, Anyway, I'm having a great time riding today. It's always great to, to meet uh, new friends to ride with. And, uh, they're all, it's all good, I'll tell you, you meet a lot of really good people and uh, fun 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 I'm glad I could come down so we're gonna uh, continue uh, on around the Navajo Lake here uh, make it over to uh, Duck Creek will be the next stop they're gonna stop at the little service station Duck Creek Village. Quick little stop for some petrol. And then we're going to be heading on our way. We're going to head to Cedar Breaks. So, next stop is Cedar Breaks. That's a turn off right there. What's that? Oh, was that the... Yeah, I didn't even see it. Yeah, there's a road. Oh, okay. the, the 148 or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, guys, this is what makes it an adventure. We, uh... Wanted to ride up to the lookout at the Cedar Breaks, and uh, of course, uh, off of the Highway 14 over Cedar Canyon, then you you take uh, Highway 148, which uh, take you up over Cedar Breaks, and actually, if you keep going, it'll take you over to Bryan Head, up the Parowan Canyon. And uh, anyway, we were riding along, and. Uh, the ride leader he had the, his GPS on and he noticed a road that uh, appeared to uh, head in that direction uh, and uh, you know it, it appeared to be a connector road so that we could cut out some of that highway on the 148 because it would have been about Oh, maybe five miles of uh, highway riding up to 148 to the Cedar Breaks. So, anyway, we're on that uh, we're on that track, and uh, it, it's pretty good. It's uh, got some little rocks and dips, and this is not nice on it. But uh, hopefully, uh, we can find the connection when we get over there a little closer to the 148. But but that's what that's what makes it. Uh, an adventure, you know, if, if you never veered out of the known uh, route, if you just almost rode everywhere you've been before, that wouldn't be much of an adventure. So, <laughs> but uh, it's great to have uh, people along that have the GPS, have the tracks, and have the savvy of how to do that. I haven't, uh, I haven't purchased a GPS unit yet. I've. Uh, closest thing I have to that's my phone and uh, I've just been using the Orm Maps free edition and uh, but it's you know it's amazing it has you know most of these roads these the, like this particular road is on there so I can tell uh, tell that I'm on the road so now he's just checking his uh, waypoint here now I guess you gotta figure we've got to make this turn to the right so and uh, I could probably do that same thing with the ore maps I'd have to take a stop and you know take the sunglasses off take a little peek so anyway away we go there we are folks there's the lookout for the cedar breaks awesome I don't uh, you won't be able to see the uh, see it real well with the uh, camera here, but I'll try and take a picture uh, with my phone and kind of zoom that in. Maybe you can 
see the uh, colors a little bit and then I'll take a few pictures of these big towers. I don't know what the hell they are for sure. There, there must be weather towers or something. They're something that's left over from the 50s and 60s back in this space age, you know, or something like that. So anyway, uh, thanks for riding with us today, guys. Uh, it's been fun. It's, guys, we're getting, running on to almost like four o'clock and we, we still got to do quite a few miles. So I hope we get going here pretty quick. If you look clear down there, that's the Cedar City down uh, in the valley there. We're, we're going to go down there six miles before Cedar City, then we're going to come up the right hand fork, which is from right to left there, then over to Kolob Reservoir, and then back down, come down by Rockville there, close to Zion. So, anyway, thanks for riding with us. This is Dr. Dual Sport. Out. Well, guys, here we are. Uh, off of the, we went uh, almost to Cedar City, about six miles east of Cedar City. We took the uh, right-hand fork road, uh, which turns into like Kolob Road. This is a uh, Kolob Reservoir. I think this is about uh, oh uh, halfway. So, which is good. I think he's just checking his uh, GPS. I think we're about halfway, because, uh, see, we're on uh, 9,100. We've gone 20, 23 miles from when we left the uh, Coal Creek Canyon there in Cedar City. Uh, so, making pretty good time. This is, uh, it's been beautiful. Uh, coming through the uh, oak trees, you know, with the sun shining on there. And it's a really good road, so just have to kind of stay back uh, just a bit for the dust. Other than that, looks like somebody's doing a little fishing. Guy was offering me a cold one there, it looked like. <laughs> There's the Wildcat Trailhead. Here we are, we're coming down off of the Kolob. Beautiful area. This is a. I have not been on this road for, gosh, 40 years, 40 to 45 years, something like that. And uh, when I was up here last, this this road wasn't oiled. It was all gravel road. It took a long time to get up there. Now it's uh, quite a nice little oiled road. Fun one. Twisties. <laughs> yeah, we just like to go our own little speed on the old KLR. Don't, don't want to really get leaning her over too much or nothing. I, if I want to do that, I'll get on the Beamer, you know, with the ABS brakes and all that stuff. Beautiful. Okay, now that says five miles per hour. Holy shamolis. God, I'm going about 40. What do you think about that? Later. <laughs> down here the sun shining through the pine trees the pretty colors awesome awesome awesomeness yeah I think we you know actually we we probably we may make it back to camp before dark so if we do that'll be great still got to go through the park so after we go to Springdale so that'll be That'll be fun going through the tunnel. I always love to go through the tunnel as I am. It's pretty cool. Wow. 
Well, guys, Dr. Dual Sport uh, just headed into Zions. The got through there okay. The <laughs> talked to the one guy. He, uh, one of our guys was a little upset that they each had to pay twenty-five dollars to get through here, and I, of course, had my uh, seniors free pass, so I made out like a bandit again. So. But anyway, we're uh, going to head up here, go through the tunnel. And then head back to camp. The guys made it to the market. They got some more ice. They got some, I think, meat. They're going to barbecue a little stuff tonight. Probably sit around the campfire and tell a story or two. So, ooh, look at that big moon up there. Beautiful. But, Such a pretty place, but it's probably you can't probably you can't see it with the lighting that well. The the sun's going down, but in the uh, so I don't know what the colors will look like. But trust me, this is a beautiful road. I love coming through here. Every time I've ever been through here, I've loved it. Had a great day riding with the guys. Uh, we of course went north, you know, from the Zion Ponderosa Ranch to Navajo Lake, and then we went over to Cedar Breaks. Then we went down towards Cedar City, down the canyon, and then we took the left hand fork, uh, Colab Road, all the way over to Colab Reservoir, and then back on down to the highway here and uh, just before Rockville and we stopped in at uh, Springdale the little market and did a little shopping and now we're just a moseying home wonderful day well guys look like we got a small delay at the tunnel as usual so what they do they uh, you know when they get these oversight the campers and the trailers and shit that people aren't uh, competent you know to drive through there without freaking out and hitting each other so they they just uh, shuttle them through there take turns and I guess it's safer that way so anyway that's my story thanks for riding along today guys thanks for watching and uh, please like, subscribe, comment if you wish. This is Dr. Dual Sport, out.